It all started with a phone call. Lawyers for the couple in St. Louis started getting anonymous calls from a former employee of First Alert hinting that they were on the right track. Eventually, the lawyers traced the man and took him to this motel and videotaped this deposition from him. I do. David Minnis was an engineering technician who worked for First Alert for 13 years. He claimed the company rigged their alarms to pass safety checks. All smoke alarms are tested in the United States by underwriters' laboratories. In the late 1980s, first alert detectors were failing those tests. Their horns were rusting and not making any noise. Minnis testified that first alert asked for a retest. This time I was to put one drop of contact lubricant on each of the horn contacts. Minnis claimed that he was told to take the alarms that were going to be tested and put a drop of oil on each of the horns. Well, that stopped the rusting, but only on the detectors being sent to underwriters' laboratories, not on the ones being sold to the public. And when Minnis complained... If I wanted to keep my job, I was just shut up and do as I was told. He specifically said those words yeah. you can recall? Minnis also testified that First Alert interfered with smoke detector testing in Canada. Again, in the late 1980s, our testing agency, Underwriters Laboratories of Canada. That they, in fact, were sending units up there knowingly that were not to the um, sensitivity limits of Underwriters Laboratories of Canada. So many first alert alarms failed, according to the minister's deposition, that our federal government was on the verge of issuing a recall. He says instead of fixing the problem... But I suggested that we question the way that the fire tests are being conducted. So what happened as a result of your suggestion? Uh, they redid the tests and um, enough units passed to cloud the issue.